Hey guys, welcome back for another video. So I'm in the process of clearing a little spot back here in the woods and I'd cut some trees down and now I've got stumps to get rid of. So I'm going through and pulling those stumps out so that I can actually till it up back there. And I thought I would show you the process that I'm using to, uh, to pull these stumps. So I'm using two different methods. The first one that I'm gonna show you uh, in this video is using a rope come along basically just using basic hand power and some mechanical adv advantage with uh, with some snatch blocks to pull these stumps so check out this video and, and I'm gonna make another video that I'm actually gonna be using a winch to pull out some bigger stumps um, probably with cable a little bit heavier equipment so if you're interested in checking that out I'll leave a link up above or at the end of this video so you can see that so uh, stay tuned thanks for watching hey guys so I got this little clearing here uh, that I had to take some trees down and I'm going to put, be pulling out some of these uh, bigger stumps a little bit later today with the tractor, maybe a portable winch, maybe both, we'll see. But I um, thought I would just do a little experiment here just to see uh, what I could actually do by hand. Um, so I'm using a, a, a rope, a rope come along. This is the Mazdam uh, rope come along. I think this thing gives you a 10 to 1 pull and it's rated for 1500 pounds and what I've done here is just set up a, a 4 to 1 system so I've got this is the little stump that I'm going to be pulling off here that's just about three inches so not real big but a good little test uh, I've got my chain wrapped around this is probably the weakest link in this whole system here actually this is only I think this is 3 16 chain so hopefully I don't break that but um, as you can see I've got two snatch blocks here to a shackle to the stump that I'm pulling I'm anchored back here this is another stump that has to be pulled but I'm just using this as an anchor for my pull rope and then I've also got another snatch block on this side so my rope can come back to so um, we'll see if I can do this by hand it's not a not a real big stump but it is green this was actually uh, this was alive up until about a week or two ago so it's not uh, it's not rotted off below ground or anything so we'll put some cranks on it and see if I can pull this thing out by hand
Well, there you go. Pulled all the pulled all the roots right out of the ground. So one thing I didn't mention before, I did notch on this side. I did put a little notch so that the chain had something good to bite into. That way it didn't slide up the trunk when I started pulling it. But there you go. It's probably a little bit hard to see how I have all this gear laid out when it's all you know, tight together in a line. So I'll take this in the yard and I'll lay everything out nice so you can see exactly how it's laid out. I think that'll help to kind of make sense of this four to one system if you're not familiar with it. So thanks for watching. All right guys, so as promised, I thought I'd lay this out uh, to show you how this whole setup works. So when I, first time I was trying to sort out how to do this, uh, there's a lot of videos out there, people, you know, pulling stuff with, uh, mechanical advantage but they don't always explain clearly what's going on so um, so this over here this is how I had this rigged up so this was my anchor point I had that end of the rope around the anchor I had this uh, uh, tree sling around the anchor or anchor stump and then my Mazdam uh, rope come along was also tied off to the anchor I think I had that on that shackle there so the basic premise is I've got the end of the rope tied off to my anchor. We're coming up, we're going through one snatch block. We come back to our anchor again, hit a second snatch block, back to the stump we're pulling out, the third snatch block, and then we're, we're to the pull. And again, using the rope puller here, this could be a winch, this could be a tractor, it could be a truck or whatever. But by doing this, what you do is you're essentially creating a four to one mechanical advantage. And the easiest way I think to think about this is, you know, obviously we're pulling horizontally, pulling stumps out of the ground, but if you think about this being inverted and you think about your weight or what you're pulling hanging, it's actually being supported by four different lines here. So that's how you determine that it's a four to one me uh, mechanical advantage because you're supporting off of four ropes. So essentially this thing is, I think it's rated for up to 1500 pounds. It gives you a 10 to 1 mechanical advantage through the, through the, uh, through the rope winch. So theoretically, if you, if you can pull 150 pounds, you can create 1,500 pounds of pull with that, times four, so we should be able to exert 6,000 pounds on this stump over here that we're pulling. So this is the way this thing is laid out. Um, you know, from here, if you just want to add additional snatch blocks, I've got, I've got a bigger stump that I may need to put another one in. In that case, I'd put another snatch block on this side, and then rather than anchoring over here, I'd actually bring, or instead of anchoring um, the tail of the rope over here, I'd bring it through the fourth snatch block and I'd come back to the stump that I'm pulling out. And then by doing that, then I've got a fifth rope. Think of, think of the stump as hanging off of five ropes. So then I create a five to one mechanical advantage. So three snatch blocks, you can get to four to one. Four snatch blocks, you can get to five to one and you can create a lot of pulling strength. And um, that's the basic layout. Again, I thought I'd kind of lay this out because I think I thought it'd be helpful to see how, it, uh, how it's laid when it's not all you know, laid, uh, laid tightly together in a big knot when you're actually working on the ground. So hopefully that helps. Appreciate you guys watching the video. If you found that helpful, do me a big favor, hit that thumbs up button. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you're interested in seeing more videos like this, and we'll see you in the next one.